Have you ever wondered about the intricate processes that occur within your body after a hearty breakfast? How is glucose transported through your system? Or how does oxygen reach every cell? Today, we delve into the fascinating world of the circulatory system to explore these questions in detail. Understanding blood. Blood, the life-sustaining medium in our bodies, is a complex fluid with multiple functions. It helps to maintain pH, temperature, and osmotic pressure, all vital for homeostasis. Did you know that the average adult has about 10 to 12 pints of blood in their body? This remarkable fluid consists of various components, including plasma, which contains water, proteins, salts, and lipids. Additionally, it's comprised of cellular elements such as red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets, each with their unique roles. Blood and oxygen transport. A key function of the circulatory system is to transport oxygen and nutrients to cells while removing waste products, such as carbon dioxide. Every day, the human heart pumps approximately 2,000 gallons of blood, which travels a distance of about 12,000 miles in your circulatory system. The heart. At the center of this system is the human heart, a marvel of biological engineering. It's divided into two partitions, the right side, responsible for deoxygenated blood, and the left side, which handles oxygenated blood. The heart features four chambers, two atria and two ventricles. The atria are thinner walled and are positioned at the top of the heart, while the ventricles have thicker walls and are at the bottom. Blood pathway. Now, let's follow the incredible journey of a single red blood cell. It begins in a human toe deoxygenated and in need of oxygen. This blood flows through the vena cava into the right atrium, propelled by the rhythmic contractions of the heart. As the heart contracts, the blood is pushed into the right ventricle and then through the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary artery, destined for the lungs. An astonishing fact is that the human heart beats over 100,000 times per day, effectively pumping blood through this intricate network. Oxygen exchange in lungs. In the lungs, red blood cells acquire oxygen and release carbon dioxide through the process of respiration. This transforms the blood from deoxygenated to oxygenate, returning to circulation. The oxygenated blood returns to the heart via pulmonary veins, entering the left atrium. From there, it moves through the mitral, bicuspid, valve into the left ventricle, and finally, through the aortic valve into the aorta. The aorta is a major artery that delivers oxygenated blood throughout your entire body, ensuring every cell receives the oxygen it needs. Maintenance of the heart. It's worth noting that the heart requires its own supply of oxygen and glucose, which it receives through coronary arteries. These arteries branch off the aorta, feeding the heart's muscle and cells. Abstract. The circulatory system is a complex network responsible for transporting oxygen and nutrients to cells and removing waste products. Blood, the life-sustaining medium, is a complex fluid with multiple functions. The heart, a marvel of biological engineering, is at the center of this system. It's divided into two partitions, the right side, responsible for deoxygenated blood, and the left side, which handles oxygenated blood. The oxygenated blood returns to the heart via pulmonary veins, entering the left atrium, moving through the mitral valve into the left ventricle, and finally, through the aortic valve into the aorta, delivering oxygenated blood throughout the body. Here is a recent scientific study. Study name, Histology, Blood Vascular System Last Update, May 1, 2023, authors, Anthony M. Taylor. Bruno Bordoni, published in National Library of Medicine. Explanation. This study primarily examines the intricate vascular system, a complex network of blood vessels crucial for maintaining bodily equilibrium. The vascular system encompasses arteries, veins, and capillaries, each possessing unique structural and functional traits. It also underscores the significant involvement of the vascular system in various pathological conditions including atherosclerosis, arteriolosclerosis, vasculitides, and connective tissue disorders. Due to its vital role and extensive network throughout the body, 
the vascular system is associated with a wide spectrum of diseases. The study explores specific vascular diseases, such as preeclampsia, thrombotic microangiopathy, Takayasu arteritis, familial hemorrhagic telangiectasia, and soft tissue sarcomas, shedding light on the complexities and challenges of these conditions. Conclusion The circulatory system is a remarkable network that sustains life, with every heartbeat being a testament to the precision of this system. As medical advancements continue, our understanding of the circulatory system grows, offering hope for those with heart conditions. Encourage further reading. If you're interested in the field of cardiology, explore the suggested further reading links in the video details to deepen your knowledge. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the circulatory system. We hope you'll stay curious and continue to explore the wonders of the human body.